Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay Online Sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online Buhay Online Sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami Si J. C. Bautista Hello, happy Monday! Happy, happy Monday everyone! Uh, I trust that uh, people had a good weekend. Well, me, I can say I had an Omnicron-filled weekend. Only because ito na nga po, no? alam nating lahat that this Omnicron uh, virus is spreading fast all over the world, in the Philippines included. Ayan na naman po, it, it's, it's hit closer to home because po ang pamilya ko po, members of my family, tinamaan po ng Omnicron virus. Like I said po last week, as a result of that uh, careless Gwyneth Chua and her family, okay, yung dalawa ko pong pamangkin were in that uh, party or whatever that place is with and so they were infected. Two of my nephews got infected. And of course, uh, when he went home, he infected his family po, you know. Uh, yung pong aking brother-in-law at yung, at yung mga kasambahay nila po are infected na, pati po yung isa pang anak ng kapatid ko. It is only my sister that doesn't have it. But they're in, uh, in self-quarantine and in separate places po in Makati. So yan po ang nangyari, no, over the weekend. At the same time, in my own place po, dito po sa Pampanga, uh, where I live in an apartment complex, na exposed na rin po kami dito because po uh, my neighbor, my next door neighbor po, his, his whole family has COVID. And we have recently believed it's Omnicron too. Uh, dito po sa apartment complex namin, yung unang unit po, doktor ang nakatira. And yesterday po, I overheard them talking, my neighbor. Uh, the neighbors have uh, opted to to, to remove themselves from this place at the at, 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 uh, disinfect po namin ito kahapon at sila po ay lumipat sa, sa kanilang farm in an open area place at doon sila magsaself quarantine for two weeks kasi po hindi na, uh, while, while, as, uh, as we know this virus is spreading fast because it's highly infectious but uh, ko naman masasabing good news are on the bright side is yeah, the symptoms are mild and not unless you're seriously sick with comorbidities or existing conditions or pulmonary ailments po. Uh, normally po, pinapagaling na po ito sa bahay. You know, kaya, kaya ang mga paracetamol nagkakaubusan, but you know, take a paracetamol, take 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, uh, take hot lemon water, lemon water with turmeric or ginger, that works for us, and cucumber. Uh, yung, yung pag malamig naman na drink po, cucumber and lemon, Pag hot drink yun, ginger, lemon, or turmeric. Tapos po, ako po, hindi ko naman sa ina-endorse, pero talaga po, when we, I, when we had COVID, we were taking this uh, linwa. Right? We were taking this, and it really helped a lot. Twice a day for 11 days. Okay? So, you just have to <clears throat> be more vigilant and be, be more mindful Kasi nga, di ba, ang dami-daming naglalabasan po sa news that they're saying that this, uh, this, um, 
this Omicron virus now is the beginning of the end of the pandemic. Why? Because they're saying that this this takes it's, it's like a vaccine against all the other variants now. Parang nakapang build ka na ng immunity. So pag nagkaroon ka ng Omicron, that's it. Para bang full blown immunity ka na towards any other uh, COVID-19 variant or so. But of course, I cannot verify that as a fact. Pero yun po ang lumalabas sa mga news na from the OH at saka mga infectious disease organizations around the world. In fact, uh, today, yun po may lumabas na from Ireland <coughs> na parang circular, okay? And they're talking about that, that uh, they're saying that Sabi sa Ireland, okay, I'm gonna read it, okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, this bit of, uh, I cannot uh, post it here because I'm using my cell phone, but I will just read it. This is from uh, Monday, from uh, Friar Christopher of Carmelite Church in Ireland regarding COVID. This is a presentation from Director of International Infectious Diseases at Mass General Hospital in Boston. This was, uh, this was uh, presented in the presentation. The interesting topic from this presentation is that the, the, they're saying that close to 100% of the positive cases in Massachusetts are Omicron nowadays. Okay, In Boston, Massachusetts, post America, close to 100% of the positive cases now are is Omicron na. Delta is almost completely gone from New England. Hi there, Jake. Jake, long time no see, Jake. I miss you, Jake. Happy New Year. We're talking about the Omicron virus. I hope you're safe, but you know, it's spreading fast all over. But, uh, ano lang po tayo? Uh, vigilant, okay? So, I was saying that uh, 100% of the positive cases in Massachusetts are Omicron. Delta is almost completely gone from New England. This surge, sabi nila, this surge will peak sometime between January 10 and January 21 now, and then begin a quick downhill journey of two to four weeks. Ito yung sinabi ng Director of International Infectious Diseases ha, sa Mass General Hospital nung nag, nag uh, sila ng conference nitong uh, kamakailan lang, right? So, uh, begin to see a downhill journey of the infections of two to four weeks. We will end up with 20 to 50% positivity rate. By February, we will be clean, it will be the cleanup mode. Ito sinasabi lang, sana po, totoo. I mean, you know, let's not, let's just keep this in mind, but not really totally believe it. It's just, I think, giving us a little bit of hope, okay? Uh, we will end up with 20 to 50 percent positivity rate. February will be cleanup mode. March will begin to return to normal. That's what they think. Okay. Uh, this is based on prior Christopher of Carmelite Church in Ireland's uh, sermon, I think. But then this was brought out in the meeting at Mass General Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, from from the director of international infectious diseases. Okay. So we will end up with a 20-50% positivity rate. By February will be the cleanup mode. They said March will begin to return to normal. Hopefully. Omicron, okay. Let's just say that Omicron lives in your nose and upper respiratory area, which is what makes it so contagious. It is it isn't able to bond with your lungs like the other variants, okay? It's not gonna go through your lungs. The increased hospitalizations should be taken with a grain of salt. Kasi nga, yung mga na-hospital ngayon ay hindi lang na tungkol sa COVID. These are, most of them are secondary admissions like people coming in from surgery, for surgery, broken bones, etc. And, and those who are tested for COVID. We won't need a booster for Micron, okay? Hindi daw kailangan ng booster shot for my, Omicron because they wouldn't be able to develop one before it's completely gone. So by the time that they develop a, a booster shot for Omicron, Wala na ito, namatay na because it can't feed on anything. It's spreading fast, let it feed on people, let it let it develop, but then die a natural death. Ayan ang ibig sabihin po. Dahil weak siya, mamamatay na siya sa sistema natin, lalo na most of us are all vaccinated already. Okay? So, um, 
we won't need a booster shot uh, because like they said, we won't be able to develop a vaccine before it's completely gone and we're all going to get it, which will give us the immunity we need to get through it, okay? COVID will join the four other coronaviruses we deal with that cause the common cold, upper respiratory infections, RSV, etc. It will become a pediatric disease mainly affecting young children with no immunity. Yun na nga. Para na siyang flu ng mga bata. 40% of those infected will be asymptomatic. Yun na nga ba talaga eh. Most of the people that I know, asymptomatic, hindi nila akalain na meron silang COVID. Rapid tests, okay, yung mga rapid tests are 50 to 80% sensitive to those with symptoms. Only 30 to 60% sensitive to those without symptoms, okay? Contact tracing will be worthless because we're all going to get it and there's no way we could keep up with it. Well, that's not true. We still do contact tracing because it's important to know who's infected and who's not so that we can isolate the situation, or isolate the, you know, the people involved, right? Uh, we are fighting the last war with COVID, they said, and should be pivoting back to normal life, but society is, more, quite, is not quite ready for it yet. Okay, there is no need to stay home from work or to be a hermit unless you're immunocompromised or 85 or older. There's uh, some sabi nitong uh, director ng infectious diseases sa Boston. He recommends staying away from large gatherings for then for the next six weeks. Okay, and hopefully spring and summer for everyone will be nice. Okay, well, all right. So yan po, yan po ang balita tungkol dyan, right? Anyway, uh, okay, so let's uh, check out certain things. Okay, we could, uh, uh, last Friday we started to, we, we were talking about ESL learning, right? And we had some panelists panelists here as guests. There we were trying to, uh, we didn't finish that um, uh, topic about the reasons to learn a language in this year. Because of course, you know, we know that the ESL learning uh, business or arena is very quite feasible. But it's not just learning English at all. It's learning a second language or a third language per se, okay? Uh, so we, we talked about the reasons why people should learn a second language. Uh, travel is coming back, right? TV shows and movies are becoming more and more multilingual. It can help you connect with your heritage. Uh, it's easier than you might think, right? And there are more ways to learn than ever, okay? Let's continue on from that. There's no one-size-fits-all fit, solution to learning, okay? In fact, one of the best ways to get to know a new language, okay, is by approaching it in a number of different ways. Diba? Lucky for you, there's constantly new ways to learn, okay? Merong mga Babel Live classes, merong go to Berlitz, okay, online learning and face-to-face and there's a lot of things that you can see online to practice. There's book, there's games, okay? There's games that you can actually download now to teach you how to speak and uh, how to learn English and or a second or any other second language, second or third language. Meron mga vocabulary review games, vocabulary review games giving you learning options that fit your lifestyle, whatever it may be. Saka, learning a second language or third language it's good for your brain. Why? Because learning, learning it may not be true in every field of, of endeavor, but knowing a second or third language can be a huge leg up when you're on the job hunt. It's an added thing on your, it's an added feather in your cap. It's an added item on your resume. You know, it's very good to know, for them to know that you can speak Chinese or English or whatever, or, or any European language because it's an added value to you, okay? Added value is atin yan, okay? Doctors, video editors, social workers, and more are all aided when they're better able to understand other languages. So, to, oh, yung doctor's offices nga, di ba? Kasi minsan nagtakaroon sa ng foreigners na client, uh, pasyente. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's in their favor if they're better able to understand other languages. Bilingual people also often get paid more mm -hmm. for having this extra skill. True enough naman. Tapos ano pa? 
if you know how to speak other languages, you can go anywhere, right? While other hobbies require bulky tools or vast time commitments, language learning is portable in every sense. Totoo naman. You can do a lesson on your phone, carry around flashcards, or even just translate the world around you in your head. Tapos, ito, may nagtanong sa akin, paano yung mga translator uh, apps or, or, or gadgets that you can find? Hindi ba yun ano? Hindi man na yun tama, hindi ka na kailangan mag-aral ng language kasi ipa-plug mo lang dun dun or sasabihin mo lang, you're not translate now. Well, those things are not really totally, totally reliable. It's like giving putting a whole slew of paragraph in Google Translate of Japanese or, or Spanish or any language and then it's, it's all going to come out wrong. It's going to be out of context because, you know, sometimes the translators and the translations are literal. It's not what you need to say, okay? That's not the correct word that you mean to say. So it's better talaga to learn the, the normal way. Uh -huh. Learn the second language by studying. And if you know how to speak a second language or third language or another language, it shows that you care, right? Speaking someone else's language can be an act of caring. Even if you don't master another tongue, even just getting some of the basics down shows that you're willing to make an effort. Meeting someone in their native language is also a way to get to know them better than if they're forced to translate it, translate things to you, diba? Nakakatawa naman kunyari makakarelate sila sa'yo kung alam mo, right? Tapos, there's so much to read that is not English. Hindi naman lahat about English. Diba? Meron nga statistic na naman ba sa 3% of books published in the United States are in translation and it's much better for other English-speaking countries. That means there are a ton of books out there that you can only read in other languages. Okay? And of course, even if the book is available in English, you might want to read some of them in their original form, in mga foreign books. It's a good way to avoid tourist traps. Totoo, pag nagsya-shopping ka, pag alam mo yung vernacular or yung, yung, yung salita doon, hindi ka nila lulukohin kasi feeling nila, hindi ka nila mabibenta, right? Okay? So, yun. Uh, ano pa? It'll teach you more about English. The English language is a strange mishmash, mostly European. It's a mishmash of languages. It's Germanic, but it's also been heavily influenced by Norse, Latin, French, Greek, Arabic, and others, okay? When you're learning another language, you might be shocked to see words you know in English popping up all the time. Studying another language will give you some insight on how English absorbs other linguistic influences. It'll teach you more about language in general. If you're monolingual, you probably haven't spent much time thinking about how language works. It's like if you base your whole idea of cars on a single model, okay? Sure, that one model might be cool, but it doesn't show you everything a car can do. Learning even one other language will open your eyes to human communication. Tuto naman, right? It'll, uh, ano pa? It'll teach you about yourself. Paano? Ang pag-aaral ng isang lengguahe won't turn you into an entirely different person, but it may lead to some changes and improvements, right? For example, some research suggests that bilingual people have more empathy. Ano yung sabihin? Mas supportive, mas sensitive ang mga bilingual people, right? Other people say that their personality is subtly different in another language. Learning to slow down and really consider what you're saying in another language might cause you to feel like a slightly different person. Hello there, Shrey. We'd like to welcome Shrey Sharma to the show. Hello there. So, Jake and Shrey and uh, Tita Agnes Lakap, hello. Ano pa? Learning a second language or learning another language? Maybe you'll fall in love. Bakit? Why would you fall in love if you if you know a second language? Well, it may sound like a pretty rare occasion that people who speak different languages fall in love, okay? But I can assure you, it happens all the time, right? Building a relationship is ready. Uh, is already so much about working on communication. So, adding a language barrier uh, to to, uh, to cut barriers isn't as much as a deal breaker as you might expect. Sabi nga nila, diba? Love conquers all, including the subjunctive tense, right? 
So yeah. Mm -hmm. So that but it's actually a little out of the ordinary to be monolingual. In certain countries, okay, speaking only one language is the norm. But in the world as a whole, it's more common to be multilingual. Why not join, okay, in that bandwagon? Because, you know, it doesn't hurt to know an another language or two, right? Tapos, ano pa? You can help keep a language alive, right? Every two weeks, a language dies. In response, people around the world have gathered together to try to keep minority languages alive with movies, books, and study groups. Learning a minority... Learning a minority... Learning a minority language or is usually a bit different than taking on a big one like English, French, or Russian. But you might be surprised by the resources that devoted people have put together. With a little research, you might even find nearby groups you can join to make an active effort to stop language attrition. Yun na nga, yung mga local vernaculars, they're, they're dying, they're uh, death because yun na nga, kinakain naman ng mga major languages like English, French, uh, Russian, or even Russian, right? Uh, one way pa, di ba? So many, of, so many reasons to learn a new language, especially this year. But most of the, the, the most of the, the reasons, common thing, common uh, purpose, okay, is about self-improvement. But you don't have to want to better yourself. In fact, this year, about we have New Year's resolutions and all, and if you can make learning another language one of them, it's going to be to your advantage. In fact, you can use a new language to become uh, a better person, okay? Uh, pero kasi, sometimes, right, like like in Japan or other some other countries, sometimes when you when you know how to speak English, you are looked at strange by your peers. Uh, that's why I have a lot of students, uh, my Japanese students, who are shy about speaking, right, uh, English to their friends because they said they're being ridic ridiculed or they're being teased by their classmates, whatever. That's the thing. You can use it to annoy your friends, right? Say, bring up a language learn, bringing up language learning in every conversation, for example, or when you say something in the language you're learning, and refuse to re translate it to your friends. You know, if they're harassing you, then let th let them be annoyed, <laughs> because you know, actually, of course, you know that there's a lot of good that can be uh, learned or that can be earned from especially learning English as a second language, right? Oh, and one other thing is, you know, it's fun to learn another language, right? If your first language learning experiences were in school, then you might associate it with homework and that feeling of panic when the teacher calls on you. Try to put that behind you, though, because learning uh, English or any second language uh, this is based on your own terms. You determine when and where and how you want, you would want to learn this language. So it could be actually be a lot of fun, right? I have a lot of my students who tell me that learning English for them is a respite or a break from their routine routinary lives. And true true enough, you know, it, you know, a lot of people get motivated to learn English because they know that they can use it for for fun, for work, for a lot of things. Because what the world needs now, more than anything in this pandemic, is more connection, okay? The internet promised to bring people around the world together, but it doesn't seem like it succeeded. Of all the reasons to learn a language this year, okay, we believe that learning languages can help foster mutual understanding among people. Of course, it won't solve all the problems of the pandemic, but it's a step in the right direction on how we can cope with this pandemic, right? Very good. If you have any questions, please feel free to field your questions through this platform, the Broadstream Cast Communicators uh, Facebook page, or messenger me, please, or email me at, at techimami at gmail.com. For your feedback and for suggestions, para sa gusto niyo mga makausap dito at makasama, kung meron kayong mga alam na resource people, or mga topics na gusto niyo pag-usapan, 
please feel free to contact us and in those medium uh, in, in the media that I just uh, mentioned. You can message us here at Broadstream Cast Communicators home, uh, Facebook page or message me directly uh, and or email me directly, okay? Of course, uh, past episodes here po ay napapagbalikan nyo at napapanood muli sa, sa YouTube because we already have our Broadstream Cast Communicators YouTube channel where all of our shows are being uh, are, are kept there and archived uh, from the morning shows 7 o'clock to 12 o'clock midnight. Nandiyan po yung mga pal- 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 uh, episodes namin at mga uh, broadcast, past broadcasts po na pwedeng balikan and to research from. Okay? So, that being said, ano pang balita? So, yun na nga, yung COVID na nagsispread, wala tayong magawa. But otherwise, you know, uh, regarding education, okay, tingnan natin, hold on. Ayan, no? Diba yung mga pilot classes po, nag-pilot classes na tayo ng face-to-face. Last year, uh, I mean, December nag-umpisa po yan. December, uh, November, sorry. It started November, November, I, I don't remember anymore. So yung November 16 and 22 yata, basta uh, face-to-face uh, teaching had pilot classes, okay? And sabihin, tingnan natin ng kanilang feedback. This is from an article on Philippine Star Global by Romina Cabrera, the Philippine Star, okay? Tingnan nyo yung picture na yan. Entrance pasukan, so, so look how clean the, the classroom is and it's totally uh, socially distanced. Face-to-face classes at St. Mary Elementary School in Marikina City. This was... Uh, uh, face-to-face classes in elementary school, Marikina, Marikina City, that was conducted last Monday, January 3, 2022. Uh, they have suspended the, the pilot uh, face-to-face classes for now due to the spreading of the Omicron. Pero, yan ang, uh, this is what happened, okay? This is a face-to-face. Yan na naman, Marikina na naman. Our city, of course, I'm from Marikina. I miss our city, a model city. At napaka-progressive po ng, ng aming Mayor Jan. Uh, meron pang mga COVID facilities po doon where they were, you know, uh, taking care of the, during the, the surge of the COVID-19 of 2020. Malikina po was very, very diligent and vigilant sa lahat. Anyway, so despite some challenges, a big majority of students who participated in the pilot implementation of face-to-face classes in the country are satisfied, okay, uh, with in-person learning, a Department of Education study showed, okay. I'd like to welcome uh, Faith uh, or Fats to uh, the show. Magandang umaga sa'yo, Fats. I miss you very much. Siya pong aking colleague sa, not only sa online learning industry, kundi po sa aking, sa aming Faith. Magkasama po kami yan si Miss Faith. Uh, so sure, uh, so I mean, I believes. Uh, she's my sister in the faith, at pati po sa negosyo. She's my colleague po sa Media Whiteboard. Uh, we are we are founders of Media Whiteboard. We have our creative marketing company and a training company po. And uh, I'm just waiting for her to come back to also and join me for for a day or two here in the show because she's one very very valuable resource person that we, that can talk about uh, a lot of things that are happening in technology especially the online education aspect all right so with that being said all right so i was saying that despite some challenges that a big majority of the students participate who participated in the pilot implementation of face-to-face classes you know they are satisfied with in-person learning okay Itong sinabi ng Department of Education, and a study showed this, that people are satisfied with in-person learning. Citing results of its survey, the DepEd said yesterday that 97% of grades 1 to grades 3 learners were satisfied and with their overall experience in participating in, in face-to-face classes, okay? Ito yung grade one, grades 1 to 3, okay? The learners were satisfied with their overall experience 
dito sa no, ng mga nag-participate sa face-to-face pilot classes. For senior high school students naman, uh, the satisfaction rating for in-person classes was 86%. Okay, 86%. All right. The survey also found that pupils from kindergarten to grade 3 experienced positive changes in their learning behavior during face-to-face -face classes compared to the distance learning modality. Of course, for obvious reasons, I can understand why. Being cooped up in your house, being cooped up in your room and studying, you know, it really, like I said, I have a son who goes to university. He was stu he's been studying remotely for two years now. He goes to school at Ateneo de Manila at dito naman kami po sa Pampanga, right? But uh, hindi po siya naging masaya sa pag online learning. You know, he had his hurdles and he's having a tough time trying to deal with it. Okay, and to think of course, I'm not, not for that I'm bragging, but my son is very intelligent and usually I would expect him to ace all his, his classes, but his, uh, his grades have gone down and uh, he's less motivated because he's the one that always tells me because he's third year college already and one more year till he graduates. He said, mom, well, I wish for this to be over. Can I just stop studying for now and just go, get back when it's like normal? face-to-face -face classes because I'm totally, totally demotivated. And sometimes he gets depressed because and annoyed because it's true. There's a lot of distractions when you're learning online. And he said to me, I don't dream of graduating from my bedroom. Understandably so, right? For, so going back to this survey of this face-to-face -face or, or the report on this face-to-face -face pilot classes, for... Um, for senior high school students, okay, 91% of the student respondents agreed that their skills and knowledge improved because of hands-on use of tools and equipment, while 82% said they felt more motivated during face-to-face -face classes, okay? Well, see, hati-hati na naman yung contention that. Okay, learners from high school were also the most satisfied with the implementation of health and safety protocols in their schools. The survey showed that only 3% of kindergarten learners did not feel safe. So only a small portion of uh, kindergarten learners did not feel safe, while 5% of those in grades 1 to 3 did not feel comfortable discussing their feelings. Okay, Understandably so. So in the senior high school levels, 78% felt safe while studying with their classmates and 74% felt safe in the school premises. The DepEd said a total of 265 public schools and another 22 private schools participated in the pilot implementation of face-to-face -face classes in December 2021. One school had to implement, implement a campus-wide lockdown for disinfection. A total of 12,084 learners joined in the person the in-person classes with a weekly attendance rate of 84,000 with a weekly attendance rate of 84.42% overall particularly in week 4 of implementation okay all right teachers noted that two most pressing challenges that they faced and ano ano tong naging hurdle ng mga guro dito sa pilot face to face Pardon me. Okay. The pressing challenges that the teachers faced, okay, okay, were, number one, the limited time to, accom to accommodate all learning concerns by the students. So, ha, eh, ayun na nga eh, yung anak ko nga nagsasabi, sometimes, nung nagpa-play na lang ng video, hindi man nila nakikita yung teacher, like, every day. No. They never did. They just come and go as they please i guess the teacher they they appear and then they play a video they let you watch a video there's no need for the teacher interaction yun lang ang tanong ko bakit kami charge ng training for teachers whatever just sa ateneo samantalang they're hardly there right they use materials that they can just play and for the students to learn from there were also concerns with limited teaching and learning resources and the lack of readiness of students for person in person learning Education Secretary, oh, Education Assistant Secretary Malcolm Garma, Malcolm 
Malcolm Garma, reported that there was also challenges and the difficulties of learners in hearing due to face mask and shield. So talaga naman, imp- naging impediment yan face mask at face shield sa mga nag-aaral. Learning gaps in reading and writing, as well as separation, anxiety, and behavioral issues of learners, especially those in lower grades. Okay? Yun yun. Uh, so they were they were also challenges and difficulties in learning again, dahil sa mga face mask at mga face shield, learning gaps in reading and writing, as well as separation, anxiety, and behavioral issues of learners, especially those in lower le- grade levels. Okay? So, ayan na nga. Yung mga iba, yung mga bata for the past two years, hindi na sanay na nag-eskwela, yun yung mga natutroma, nagkakaroon ng separation, anxiety, pag-iiwan ng magulang sa school. Right? As for the learners, okay, they echo the same concerns, particularly on not hearing clearly what the teacher is saying, what was written on the blackboard due to social distancing, or learners also said that there was a limited time to clarify lessons. Okay? So, ayun po yung mga balibalita tungkol sa, you know, uh, dito tungkol sa pilot face-to-face classes na nangyari. Okay? Marami namang favorable responses po. Alright? So, that's why they're saying most student participants that, who joined that face-to-face pilot are satisfied with in-person learning. And like, rightfully so naman, di ba? Nakikita naman natin talaga yung benefit mo. Okay? Alright, more news. Ayan, no? Sa, sa international, yung China, okay? China cyberspace regulator says it will be it will build solid national security cyber security barrier. Okay, sige, kukunin ko itong topic, okay? Para makita nyo what I'm talking about. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Fats. Please say something. Type something so I can read it. Let me just move this. Whoops. My year clencher. My year clencher, really. Uh, I'm not ready yet to divulge this news to the public of something that's really, really pressing and important and drastic and something that happened. But I perhaps in the coming days, I will talk about it. But for now, let's stick to positivity, okay? Kahit na ang dami nang na-infect. Hi there, Sincha Buste. Good morning. Happy New Year to you. So, yeah. Nothing? It's closed? No, it's not. What? What about Walter Mart? There is there, the, the, the big one. What? I know. I'm sorry. What? No, but I was there, the right? There's the big one I said. But anyway, so yeah. Yeah, no. There's no. Uh, I was just talking to my to my child because uh, he was, uh, uh, we needed to buy seaweed and it's like out of stock everywhere for a sushi bake. But anyway, so going back to what I was saying, this face-to-face pilot, right? People were satisfied with the face-to-face pilot. Yeah, that's our cat being trapped outside, which he, we need to bring in. Okay, so, so what was I going to say? Uh, we're talking about China now. The cyberspace regulator says it will build solid national security. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to show you, okay? If you could please, those doors, it's going to be coming up. This one. All right, so yeah. Okay, let me just grab that for you to see. Hold on. Mm. Hold on. Let's 
cybersecurity in China. Let's talk about this. Hold on, please bear with me. Anyway, all right, there, I'm gonna just grab it. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Can you hear it? Somebody's like uh, building something next door. <laughs> all the noise. There you go, I got it. Okay, there you go. All right, here. So we're finished with the pilot classes. Okay, let's talk about this now. Okay. So yeah, China cyberspace regulator says it will build solid national cybersecurity barriers. China will speed up the establishment of a, of a comprehensive internet governance system and build a solid national cybersecurity barrier, the, spy, the cyberspace regula regulator said on Thursday. China will win the battle for core technologies in the information field, it said in a statement on its website. It also stressed the need to expand and strengthen mainstream online opinion. China says updates of news resources last meant chaotic dissemination. We all know that sa China po, sila po nagko-control ng lahat. Right? Sila po nagko-control ng internet nila at saka doon bawal lahat ng anything that's not China, lalong lalo na American things. In fact, what was their latest move? They they stopped ESL learning in China. Nakakatawa yan kasi ang dami pong mga online English learning schools na Chinese ang may-ari or Chinese companies, but because I don't know their vendetta towards America or vice versa, right? Recently, before the year ended, they have banned English learning in China by any platform. Gantong online, whether face-to-face, tinigil po nila. Diba? Whatever vindictive thing, ano, that style, yun. So, China will win the battle for core technologies in the information field. Okay, so the news jan is uh, they'll speed up the establishment of a comprehensive internet governance system. Okay, uh, ano pa ang ating mga balita tungo sa Philippines? Let's let's deal. Let's talk about the Philippines for now. Okay. Balik tayo sa Philippines, huwag mo ng international news. Sorry, but, you know, things have been, have been a little bit weird in the internet. Ayan, walang signal. Okay, I'm back. Namamatay matay. All right. Okay. Okay. Naalala niyo po ba yung, well, I guess not. Because th this is like uh, news about the uh, let me see. Hold on a second, please, because my my laptop is hanging. Hold on a second, please. The internet po has been intermittent talaga. Anyway, okay. Okay. Somebody asked, okay, because nga, oh, Omicron is spreading fast, you know, sabi nila, gusto pag nilang malaman, proper home care for COVID-19 symptoms, okay. Let me give you a checklist for a rundown, okay. 
on how to protect yourselves from COVID-19 from your houses, okay? The Delta variant, which is twice as contagious as previous variants, is currently the most dominant across the globe. But following suit, the ba? Umahabul po yung Omicron, okay? Umahabul po. Fast. In, fa in fact, sa Amerika, nagsalo, nag, nag, nagdikit na sila. The Omicron virus has already caught up with the Delta variant sa Amerika. At sa Europe, sa London. In, well, so, and yung Delta variant is the one that's common, including the Philippines. Its high infection rate in the country has caused large daily tallies of as much as 26,000 in September. As COVID-19 health facilities in the country reach their limit to 10 to, uh, 10 to severe cases, infected Filipinos who get mild symptoms and have no comorbidities, diba? ito na nga ko, are asked to stay home to manage the illness, which is what happened to me, my family. We just got better quarantining and self-quarantining ourselves in the house. So I'm a COVID-19 survivor, as, as is my partner, Jenny and my my child Kiani okay uh, if you are a family member somehow find yourself in this situation okay because everybody's on the internet okay in my back all right I think I'm back on the okay hi Nako. internet has been intermittent going on and off ano ba tong nangyayari sa mundo Lahat nagkakasakit pa the internet nagkakasakit. My gosh. Okay, so I was saying, okay, so designate a certain area if you don't have rooms to, to quarantine in. Hindi, hindi kaya. Choose a area or corner of your house. Once this is, once this is done, windows should be open. For proper ventilation, in palagi talaga. Open your windows, right? Not only will this let in fresh, clean air, but also disperses and reduces the viral particles present in indoor air. Everyone should wear masks, preferably those approved by the FDA, since there are a lot of fake ones. Okay, your N95 is okay po yon. So may mask All right. Uh, Single-use masks should be changed every four to five hours at most when they become wet or dirty. Do not reuse, please lang. Sa katipiran, ginagamit na ginagamit. Ilang isang buwan na, yung pa rin ang gamit. You know? Provide the sick with dedicated dishes. Put food on a tray to leave outside the room, which they can pick up. And when bringing them food in person, don't forget to maintain the one-meter distance. Okay? If you are a designated caretaker, caretaker, make sure you are in good health with no underlying conditions. Okay. Number two, be thorough with cleanliness. Yes. Of course, lahat na gawin. Okay? Lahat na. Right? Mag-alcohol. Mag-hugas. Okay? Huwag kalilimutan. Palagi na sa bag. Mag-disinfect. Right? Ganun pa rin, kahit na. Uh, more than keeping distance or close contact, everyone should observe cleanliness and hygiene at all times. Talaga naman rin, eh. ayun tanga nga tituloy ilaw ko. When I'm talking about this, siguro psychological, my throat is starting to itch, my nose is starting to itch, just thinking about it, okay? Wash hands frequently using soap and water for at least 20 seconds each time. Provide the sick with their own toiletries and cleaning supplies, as well as a designated line trash bin. The assigned caregiver, when, when tending the sick, should avoid direct contact with the patient's body fluids. Handle bedding, towels, clothes, and other personal effects carefully with gloves on. Huwag kayong magpakontaminate, okay? Clean and disinfect. Uh, all, all the, um, clean and disinfect palagi. Clean and disinfect. High touch or high use objects and surfaces in the room as well. When it comes to patient waste, make sure to secure them tightly in a strong bed and dispose of them immediately, okay? Separately. Monitor your systems, okay? Help the patient monitor their symptoms by providing them with the right tools. Of course, you have to invest in a thermometer 
which will check your body temperature at least twice a day in the morning and in the evening. Pulse oximeter, this is also crucial and necessary, measures both the heart rate and the amount of oxygen in the blood. Use it as, at least three times a day. Take note of the normal ranges for heart rate is 70 to 100 beats per minute and oxygen saturation is at 95 to 100 range. Watch out for the latter, especially since anything within and below the range of 90 to 90 percent, accompanied by chest pain, blue or blue skin, paler or blue skin or lips, heavy breathing and confusion, dizziness or drowsiness should prompt you to seek medical help immediately, okay? Notebook. Track systems using a notebook or notes as, the, uh, as this pertinent information can be quite useful, especially when consulting with a doctor. Remember to disinfect both the thermometer and pulse oximeter with a disinfectant wipe or a cotton ball soaked in rubbing alcohol. Okay? The most important thing is how to manage our symptoms too. When it comes to managing symptoms, it's important not to self-medicate unless it's over-the-counter. OTC. Mm -hmm. Need medicine, but to, but take note of indications and cor cor correct doses, okay? So, when it comes to managing symptoms, it's important not to self-medicate, ha? Unless, wag kayong mag-doktor-doktoran. Unless it's over-the-counter drugs. Ayun nga, like biogesic. Okay? Yung mga... Kailangan ng reseta, hindi yan pwede. But take note of indications and current doses, okay? Ang kailangan mo, paracetamol for fever, muscle pain, or headache. Okay, ayan ang kailangan nyo. Carbocysteine plus zinc or Solmoc Advance for cough. Carbocysteine helps melt phlegm, making it easier to expel. Zinc, on the other hand, helps shorten cough duration for faster recovery. So that's what I'm trying to say, okay? Uh... Those are the things that you have to take. Paracetamol and uh, Solmuc Advantage or, uh, or a carbocyst carbocysteine. Carbocysteine. Ano ang, again, ang klaseng gamot na yan? It helps melt the phlegm, making it easier to expel. Zinc, on the other hand, helps shorten enough, shorten cough duration for faster recovery. Okay? So, mabuti naman pala na. Okay? These can be delivered to your home since Many popular drugstores have their own online store platforms. Okay, in our case also, meron din ganyan. Pwede mag-deliver ang Walter Mart, pwede mag-deliver ang, ang ano, Mercury. Okay, so ano pa? Keep them company when, dis when distance. Anyone getting sick in the family, more so COVID-19, can be really stressful for everyone. It could get especially lonely for the six months isolating. The Mayo Clinic emphasizes keeping in constant communication with friends and family and to avoid sources of stress. Oh my God, what happened? It is also a good idea to fill your days with good enter entertainment or other leisurely indoor activities such as reading and playing online games. Okay? Ano pa? Ending your isolation. Lastly, okay, when it comes to ending isolation, both the caregiver and the sick family member should consult with their family health care provider or doctor. Uh, at the end of the day, okay, health protocols and getting fully vaccinated are still the best ways to protect yourself and your loved ones from COVID-19. Okay? Whichever vaccine you get, each one is effective naman. Tsaka, at, at pati yung booster shots. It, uh, it, uh, this prevents you from getting serious, more serious symptoms and severe infections that can lead to hospitalization. Vaccinated people, ah, tandaan po, are eight times less likely to get infected and 25 times less likely to experience hospitalization or death. With that being said, we end this episode today. Maraming salamat po for joining us today and uh, keep safe po. Like I'm saying po, andyan po ang Omicron, pero Thank God that most people are vaccinated. That's why you have a higher chance of recovery if you get it. So stay indoors. Take the paracetamol. Take the vitamin C. Take the hot drink, le le ginger and uh, and lemon drink. Saka yung linwa ko po. Hindi ako endorse ng linwa, pero kasi talaga, I think that saved us. Thank you very much po. 
and have a good day. See you tomorrow. Inyong natunghayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli.